Hello and welcome on Thomas Geiger car. Today with the brand new Mitsubishi Eclipse Cross. Yes, you got me right. We're talking about a brand new Mitsubishi. This for itself is a big news because it's the first really new car since ages. And what a surprise, it is an SUV. A car competing with Volkswagen Tiguan, with Hyundai iX35 and with Kia Sportage, for example. And since it pretends to be a coupe, it's also somehow competing with a BMW X4. As much as a Mitsubishi with a 1.5 liter engine can compete with a BMW. But if it's not only looking new, but also driving new and what you might expect from the first new Mitsubishi since ages, that's what we're gonna find out here on our test drive at Thomas Geiger car. So please join me on the ride with the new Mitsubishi Eclipse Cross. The first and the most important engine of the Eclipse Cross will be a 1.5 liter four-cylinder petrol engine that is delivering a somehow impressive 163 horsepower. Not bad for an engine of that size. But before you get overwhelmed, you have to look at the data sheet. Top speed is roughly about 200 kilometers power. Don't get me wrong, more than enough in the rest of the world. But in Germany, with the unlimited autobahn and competitors going up to 250, it's maybe a little lame. The other disadvantage of the car is that for the first, it will only be available with a CVT transmission. Very smooth, very efficient, but not the real driving, engaging technology. The usual Mitsubishi is a somehow boring, or if we put it in a neutral way, ordinary car. That's definitely not the case with the Eclipse Cross. While cars like the Space Star or the Outlander go around the corner and tend to be forgotten, you will remember this car for a long time, especially because of its fancy back. Already the side profile is very sharp, very aggressive with very precise and obvious lines, but the back with the divided tail window and with the fancy lights is something you tend not to forget. You may like it or you may not like it, but you will easily recognize it. As fancy as the Eclipse Cross looks from the outside, as ordinary it's from the inside. Everything is well crafted and looking good, don't get me wrong, but it's not outstanding and not really fashionable. It's just average. That's also true for the displays, and the dials and the buttons. Some of them are really looking outdated and old-fashioned, others are just actual standard. The only thing that's a bit beyond average is the infotainment system, because I don't have only the big touch screen here, which I can use to connect my smartphones. No, same as we know it from Audi or Lexus, we also have a small touch pad here. It's somehow doubling the functions but now you can choose whatever you like. Scrolling with your finger on this touchpad or having finger buttons and fingerprints on the screen. As you like, now you have the choice. Comfort on the rear seat is surprisingly good in the Eclipse Cross. Something I didn't expect from a car that is about 4 meters and 50 long. And even headroom is enough. And since there is at least a small sunroof, I got some light in as well. Entering and exiting the car could be better due to the coupe style, but that's more difficult, for example, in the BMW X4. So in this case, the Eclipse Cross is the winner in the coupe segment of the SUVs. Another thing that somehow disappoints me at the Mitsubishi Eclipse Cross is the trunk. Not so much because of the space, it could be bigger, but it holds about 400 liters, which is enough. But more the problem for me is the crappy material, for example, for this cover or the big pockets that you have down here, where all the small things fall inside and you have to hassle and you have to look to get them out. 
This is something the competitors do way more clever, way more versatile and more practical. Sorry, not a good choice. Thank you for joining me on the first test drive with the new Mitsubishi Eclipse Cross. A car that's really a bold statement in the big segment of compact SUVs. But a car that's also somehow disappointing because the fancy design raises expectations the car can't fulfill from the inside and from its driving behavior. If you sit inside, it just feels like an ordinary SUV and that's the way it drives as well. Not bad, but not outstanding. So totally in line with competitors like Hyundai iX35, Toyota RAV4 or Kia Sportage, but way behind the BMW X4 that it's looking for with its coupe style. So for sure the best Mitsubishi you can buy, but definitely not the most attractive compact SUV. Thank you, Tschechia and bye bye.